so now being being this rubbish on the grid i think what we're going to do is start simulating some of these races because it just doesn't matter the only issue with simulating is it's difficult to tell what happened to your cars uh, other than they didn't make it around the track uh, so with that being the case we'll we'll go from there um let's see what suzuka's got for us and speed with the Japanese Grand Prix. Stay with us then for what should be an exciting weekend. It's bound to be an exciting weekend where we skip through everything. The only issue with skipping through everything is it leaves leaves our car on you know at really low levels of satisfaction, but it's irrelevant. At this moment in time, it's irrelevant. We're just going to skip through to the race. Let's hope we don't lose any more parts. Because if we do, that's a problem. It won't be long before we get underway here in Japan with 53 figure of eight laps around this historic circuit. Anything can happen at Suzuka as Kimi Raikkonen proved in 2005. The Finn battled all the way from 17th to win. Will we see a similar show of will and talent today, I wonder? Not from us. A high speed, high downforce circuit with unpredictable weather. Drivers need to have total trust in their cars to make the most of this challenging figure of eight lap. We can never be 17th. With the teams of drivers ready and raring to go. Okay. Well, since we're raring to go, let's hit continue. Uh, 60 and 57%, that's kind of the best you can hope for. Session X staff performance rating is low. We, we are pretty terrible. Uh, we're going to simulate. Here we go. There's just very little for us to do at this moment in time because we're that bad. We might, we maybe each session will do one race. But. Right, I can only assume we either didn't finish or we're last. Hold on, hold on. There was a load of people didn't finish or they did. How, how do we finish here? What the hell happened? Maybe I've, maybe I've misplaced my trust. Did these break down? We don't know what happened in this, right? We just know that somehow we finished 17th for the thing I said we couldn't dream of. This is what annoys me. It's really difficult to see what actually happened. Now, it'd be nice if there was like a summary of the of the race. Holy crap. Maybe I shouldn't manage any of these races. I doubt we'd have finished 17th if I was in charge. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll do one of these and then we'll we'll do a race so we can we can at least see some some stuff happening. You've increased in performance, great. As have you, that's great. You're not getting a pay rise, just so you know. Uh, let's have a little look. We compiled the data. Car wasn't suited to track given his poor high speed performance. I mean that could be anything. Also below the condition parts uh, failed. Okay. We expected to finish 21st and our best finish was 17th above target. Doesn't really help me. Rear wing has has been manu has been passed its testing. Uh, everything else failed. So again, we're, we're running out of parts desperately. Um, not sure this is the best car part we've ever seen. Uh, we're having a vote for regulation changes. To help us continuously improve, um, taking consideration our new minor technical change. Our data suggests that it's become too easy for drivers to follow cars closely in front of them to gain a racing advantage. Proposal aims to create more space between cars to reduce the number of red flag instants. Please follow the technical summary below. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know which, I don't know if it matters. My air cooling is pretty crap anyway. Our airflow is pretty crap. Whatever. Doesn't really make any difference to me. We're crap at either. We haven't got a direction for our car. Oh, hold on. Oh, we needed that to finish anyway, right? 
So car parts, rear wing. Okay, that's you. Underfloor. Suspension. We are running out of parts bloody quickly. Okay. So we need to go to manufacture. We're still manufacturing, right? We can't make anything new, but I need I need under underfloors and all sorts of other stuff. I could start doing research. This is locked. I could do a design, but we don't have any anything to put into it, so it seems a bit pointless. Um yeah, we do get little boosts from that, but I don't think it's is worthwhile, not with our level of ability. Let's hit continue because we want to finish manufacturing. Okay, so if I now come back down here and go to this, we can design and we want our new rear wing. No, that's, this isn't right. <laughs> we can go to manufacture and we want our new rear wing to be on the, the block, right? I'm going to do, oh no, I need, the problem is I need the other parts as well. Because our factory is so tiny. Right, let's, I could rush these, it's going to cost 825,000. I can't really afford it, I'm going to say no. It's still really expensive as is. So this is going to finish 18 days. We are without, it's, you know what, I should have rushed it. Because we are down to one underfloor in the warehouses, aren't we? No, we've got three. Hold on. What am I short of? I wish it was easier. Rear wing, we've got none of the new ones. I wish it was easier to see what I was short of. Suspension, we've got three, which means we've only got one in the warehouse, and they're both looking a bit dodgy. This, we've got one in the warehouse. Um, this we've got five in the warehouse and you're still making chassis okay fine yeah we, we know I'd love to get more but well I can't design center fire this doesn't sound good please be advised that we had a small fire in the design center that may have been caused by the facility's power supply we should not continue with design and research any car parts while this matter is investigated. I know the entire team is anxious to continue their work, but we must put safety first. Uh, pausing car development like this does not does like this does need your approval. We don't have any other option. I mean, we're not de designing anything, right? And we're manufacturing though. Oh. Oh, why? Okay. Results of monthly staff survey. Very unhappy, very unhappy, very unhappy, very unhappy. Yeah, I hear you. Feel the, feel the pain. We could research a new car part. So this is, from what I understand, research to improve car parts designs next season and prepare for any regulation changes. So... By doing this, temporary shut down, we can't, can't do any research. It was a going to allow me, now it doesn't. Well, fair enough. Work on building expertise for the upcoming season. This will be extremely valuable as it could give us a competitive edge over other teams. We're starting a new car, but I don't really understand it. So we learn on how to make parts for the new season coming up, I think is what it's telling us. We built a weather center, that's great. Uh, but I don't, I don't really, I don't know where you see that stuff. Could really have done some of these parts being built, if I'm honest with you. Because I think we're in serious trouble. We know what our targets are. Okay. I can only assume something dodgy happened last race. Just getting settled here in Shanghai, ahead of the Chinese For us to finish 17th, mental. A visit to Shanghai International Circuit can only 
mean it's time for the Chinese Grand Prix. This state-of-the-art track combines high G-force corners with one of the longest straights on the calendar. And with space for up to 200,000 spectators, not a minute of action will be missed. This weekend will be taking a slightly different form as we have the addition of a thrilling sprint race thrown into the mix. Not thrilling. What will happen this weekend? Only time will tell. <coughs> Not thrilling for us. It's just a waste of our time and resources. Right. Well, look, we're going to do this one. So let's start with... So we've got a long straight, right? So let's do that. I don't know why I keep trying to move those. I know I can't move them. <laughs> right. Okay, perfect. Here we go. Oh, this is the... Hold on. This is, Yeah, this is the practice, right? So that's fine. We can work on the practice. I thought we went straight into the sprint. We don't. Here is the butte. Look at it. Look at it. It's delightful. Comes the other one, followed swiftly by someone else. Okay. And I don't think there's much for us to do, so we'll just start speeding up because all we're really waiting for is this feedback. So let's let that happen. We're a fair amount slower than a Williams. And we're pretty slow in the old feedback. We are good with our driver parts, though. That's quite nice. Terrible with the, car, the, the track uh, acclimatization. Oh my god, we're faster than, than Bottas. Huge. Okay, three or five feedback. Four or five feedback. We are so slow. Okay, can we get it done before half an hour? Just about. In you come. In you come. Right. So not incredible, but what I suggest we do is rejig these first. Because these are the easiest ones to, to, to move. So I think we might just do that. Okay, not amazing. And what I mean by all of that is that it's just easier to tweak those things um, because this one takes much longer. But in this instance, I think it's probably going to be worth it. You can see this takes longer to reconfigure than this one did. Which makes me think we're not going to get all of our all of our sources done. Right, get out there. And I probably should have changed tires just to not have to come in, change them, and go back out again. Okay, one of five. <clears throat> now in this one, we only get one practice session um, before or between episodes. Sorry, between sessions um yeah you don't get the opportunity to have 
multiple practice sessions therefore you know chances are whatever you end up with here is what you end up with i'm gonna have to call them in and change the damn tires aren't i not sure we're gonna learn anything anything new here tires okay some of that's quite good tires 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 i guess we send you out on mediums Get back out there and get us the extra two feedback, please. I need it. Because the worst thing we can do is go out there with with an unknown. Because we're not going to have any confidence. Come on, please. Please. Feels pretty good to me. That's all I needed to hear. Right, you. Eight minutes to get us this last piece of feedback. Let's just have a little look. What have we got? Okay, not horrendous. We'll take it. And there's no point in me changing this. Come on. Let's bring you in. Let's have a little look. Mm, not great. Not great, but we're not going to go back out and do anything. We're just going to wrap up, wrap up there. And off we go for a sprint race, which seems like a nightmare. Okay. I mean... Look at our timing. Yours was horrendous, but look at our timings versus this. Who the hell is Pato Award? Okay. 62%, 65% preparation. Not horrendous. Not great, but just into the, the white area here. Welcome, everyone. Qualifying for the Sprint Awaits us. And we're raring to get going. Okay. Got to use mediums. Oh, this is the sprint qualifying, right? Fair enough. This is all irrelevant to me. Since we're going to have a terrible lap. So this is 10 minutes to get out there and do something. Let's send you out. And we'll send you out. Here he comes. Perfect. Or here she comes, I guess. All right, let's uh, let's speed this up, and then we'll do our flying lap. Okay. We'll watch it in uh, in this view. This view. They impeded me, did they? Who did? I mean, they're on a flying lap as well, aren't they? Nope. They're on an out lap. Great. That is not going to help our time. If you think they impeded us, think how much we were impeding Hamilton, I assume that is. Wait until we get on that straight. We're going to be zooming. Here we go. Watch us pull away from Hamilton down this straight. I can feel it. Oh. Hold on. 
Can we hold them off? Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. We've got the same engine. These cars just about 100 times better than ours. Okay. Let me come around here. Last corner into the into the finish. Not great, that. P4, woo! Three seconds behind everybody. Horrendous. Or five and a half seconds, if not more. Do we get to go out again? Okay, this time we'll watch from the old visor cam, shall we? Be nice if there was a way of changing, hiding the UI in these things, right? We are P21, yeah, we hear you. Okay, we're quicker in the uh, in the first sector. In a second, that must be insane going that fast down that straight and then having to break to that much of a turn. That shit, my pants, I think. <laughs> right, okay. Hoff has beaten Beach. Love that. Good work, Hoff. I mean, should do. You're in the, the faster of the two cars. Not sure it means that much, but... Okay. Yeah, we are out. We understand that. Norris is at the top there. this weekend with a sprint set to spice up today's events of course this is the first sprint of the season adding an extra challenge for the drivers and their teams but as ever in formula one an extra challenge is an extra opportunity the big draw today is the opportunity to grab some extra championship points after all they could make the difference when the season comes to a close well, it's not too long now until the sprint around Shanghai, where we'll see who comes out on top. Right, let's do the sprint around Shanghai, shall we? Make medium tyres. Seems like a seems like a plan. I don't want to change those. I want to change these, right? Beautiful. Okay. I don't think there's anything for us to do. We just go for it, right? There is nothing for us to do. We just let it happen. I mean, it, there's literally no, no pit stops, nothing. 
and we're starting at the back. We're not going to overtake anyone. Unless there's mechanical failure or accidents or whatever, this is us. We're side by side coming down the uh, side. Beach is up the inside. Please don't hear each other, boys and girls. Look at this. What a battle we're having. I like that our little driver stuff is going up and down while they overtake each other. Off has now got the inside line. <laughs> there we go. Good. Now beach. Yep, good. <laughs> okay. Well, at least we didn't hit each other. That's the main thing. Didn't check the rain, I'm assuming. We're not expecting any yet. I'm not sure we're much quicker. A little bit. A little bit, maybe. This is our whole race, by the way. Just us racing ourselves at the back. Hoffman should be in front. He's got the better car. And he's the better driver, I think. be weird when you're driving an F1 car to go from like flat out to kind of like coasting around a corner it sounded like with the engine there Doesn't look like we're closing the gap, right? Let's speed this up a little bit because it's all a bit irrelevant. Look how far every three laps, look how far away they are. Mental. Because we can DRS, I guess, with each other. But we are relying on accidents for other people or mechanical breakdowns, as we have been all season. So Hoff is in front. I suspect a lot of that due to uh, DRS. And Beach isn't involved in, in getting any DRS too far away. Okay. Mechanical fault for Sonoda. Are you going to... Not that it matters. You're going to start behind us on the grid and then overtake us. Doesn't matter. Right? It's all irrelevant. Okay. It'd be nice if there were settings to be like use fuel until back to negative, those sorts of things. So you didn't have to micromanage everything. This is the final lap. Uh, we are eight seconds behind Joe. So again, 
all a bit irrelevant. Let's just speed this up. We're not changing. We're, we were about to get lapped. Over the line to win Literally, the we're about to get lapped. And is that a third of a normal race? I think so. The competition out there was certainly tough today, and it leaves many coming away from the sprints empty-handed. Unfortunately for them, they finished in P21, and to be perfectly honest, have a long way to go. You're not wrong, mate. You are not wrong. Okay. I mean, we are so far off the pace, it's scary. Okay. Will practice pay off for the drivers? Nope. Well, we're about to find out in qualifying. The Shanghai International Circuit is notoriously tough on tyres. So expect to see that factor into the team strategy as they deal with this busy schedule. Karun, if we could perhaps talk about Lewis for a moment. How do you think he's feeling? They had an excellent performance in practice, setting a solid lap time. They must be feeling confident. But confidence doesn't necessarily mean success in Formula One. And you're right. Well, it's nearly time for qualifying. Okay. I don't really get the point of sprint and then qualifying. There is nothing for us to change here. We just go, right? We're never going to get through qualifying one. We're five seconds off the pace. Hey, we don't even need to watch the flying laps, right? Because we've already done it. Get out of the way, Ricardo. Huge. Look at that. We're top. Oh. I think I'm just going to leave you on the same side. Hold on. Are these already been used? No, I'm just going to leave you on the same softs. There's no point changing them, right? They are exactly the same. Same tyre. What's happening here? You're trying to tell me I should be on a different tyre. Oh, no fuel? Okay, good. We just wait for everybody else to go out and then we go out. I think we might have been early, you know. I think we might have been early. Because we're going to have a load of cars out while we're out. I mean, we might be all right. Maybe not. Yeah, not great. Not quicker than we were before. Yeah, we stay where we are. Gasly. What happened to Gasly? Gasly's had a mare. I suspect you're about to disappear up the, up the thing here, right? You and I, Gasly. Oh, hold on. We could slow them down. Slow them down, Beach. Nope. Okay, not that we should wish to do that, but you know, if, if we if we needed to, we we could have done. Um, this is us done. Gasly's coming around for the last few. It's quicker in the first, no quicker in the second. Quicker in the third. Ooh, look at this. We're starting in 20th, not 21st. Huge. Huge. Poor old Gasly. And a mare. No point doing any of the others. We know we're out. Job done. Here we go. The 56 laps of the Shanghai International Circuit await our drivers here in China. Shanghai has seen its fair share of clashes over the years, one of which happened even before the 2005 race had begun. 
when Michael Schumacher collided with Christian Albers on the way to the grid, sending Albers into the air. Shanghai International Circuit is a complicated low-speed track that demands high downforce. The series of rapid turns from one to four demands high grip, but the more the drivers warm their tires, the more degradation they'll have to deal with. Well, there's nothing quite like it. Welcome along to race day. Well, it's race day, and who knows what we're looking for here. Um, no rain happening. We've only got one strat. <laughs> this is it. Or well, we went hard first, then mediums. How the heck are we meant to make it through? We're not, right? We're meant to do two stops. Surely. Sorry, three stops. That's what we're meant to do, right? This is going to take one minute, 29. Sorry, one hour, and this is quicker. But I'm just a little bit worried about the tyres, right? It, I mean, we could come and edit this to be back here, likely. I don't know how I feel about it, you know. I mean, that's pushing it right to the limit, right? Let's do that. Oops. I mean, they're all much of a muchness, right? Let's go with... You know what? Let's go with this for you, because we don't like you very much. Uh, and then for you... Yeah, how come you're able to keep the tyres? I guess because you've got the new chassis. Okay, 128.46, that's you. 129, fine. Fine, this is fine. They're all yellows, fine. Okay, here we go. This is not going to last very long uh, because, because we're not very good. Here we go. It's almost time for the Chinese Grand Prix. Here we go. It's lights out and away we go. Oh, we lost. <laughs> Instantly. Instantly Gasly has gone flying past us. Let's focus in on Hoffman, shall we? Wait, oh, we didn't click on it. There we go. Because Hoffman's on the softs. You know what? Let's... Let's do this as well. Not that I think this is going to make any difference, but let's do this. And let's do this. Oh my god, they're so far in front already. We're 1.7 seconds behind them. Not even at what, we're half the way around a lap? Mental. Oh, hold on. I 
brought it down to almost one second. One second. We could stay at that distance. We have a hope of some uh, DRS, but probably not. Okay. Here's a question for you. You know the the, the start because you start behind the f the start line. The first lap is it all based on the same start point, or is it when the cars that are right at the back of the grid start across the finish line? Is that when your lap time is, or is it just? click the button and everyone goes it's got to be that right have we, have we brought this down any nope well sort of we're burning extra i don't mind that i'm gonna let us do it Just to see if we can keep within range. We can't, really, is what I'm discovering. We are so bad. Right, I think... We are well within our rights to speed this up a little bit. Right, I think we can go back to this. We can probably go back to this. Yellow flag, what's happened? And yes, yes, we have Crash involving a multiple cars. Oh dear. Ooh, stop just before the... Uh, just before the wall. It's not going the way the team had hoped. Oh, they're back out in front of us. Magnuson has damage. Well, that's great news for us. Still not going to make any difference, but that's great news for us. Doesn't look like slowing him down much. Magnuson gets a penalty. Might even give him enough time for Beach to overtake in the pits. Okay. This um this issue that's affecting Magnuson's car doesn't look like it's too drastic. Can we can we see where the damage is? It looks alright. Looks all right to me. Okay, let's speed up a little bit. Mangson isn't coming into the pits, so not having to worry about it. Oh, it has been overtaken, though, by Bottas in the Sauber. Okay, we're into our pit territory for Hoffman. Gasly is just pitted. Uh, what 
are we going on to? Hards. There we go. Cassie's just overtaking us as we come into the pits. Just ended your pit window. Hoffman is catching up to Beach. The Hoffman has been lapped. Magnussen has managed to pit and unpit with his five second penalty before we got there. Okay, you're going on to mediums. And I just saw someone, ha Alonso has a mechanical fault. He looks like he's all right. Doesn't look like it's too major. Good, good, good. Hoffman's about to be overtaken by Hamilton in eighth place. And Alonso with the mechanical failure is about to go past them. We're 35 seconds behind Joe. We suck so bad. Oh, Ricardo, mechanical fault. We need smoke. We need black smoke pouring out of the car. They've got a fault with the car. Look, this is ridiculous. Why not say what it is? We need people to crash. Similar, well, we need one person to, to have to pull out. Simple as that. Here we go again. Ricardo with a mechanical fault. It certainly looks like they've developed a fault. Oh, yeah, I can see that. What are you talking about? Uh, the one thing I would say about this game is it feels like they've done the bare minimum. It looks like they're carrying some kind of fault. That you could give any kind of explanation as to what that is, right? There could be a radio thing. There could be anything. But nope. We'll just say it looks like they've developed a fault and show nothing in the graphic that indicates anything. It's ridiculous. Um. Oh, hold on. We missed our pit stop, right? I think. For both of these. Oh, God. Right, you can come in first. All right, get you on softs. Where are you? You're, I mean, you're miles away, right? I can bring you in the same pit stop. Hold on. Yeah, we'll put you on softs again, I guess. It's probably going to get us. I don't know if it's going to get us there. I don't know if that's going to get us there. Hold on. If I put you on softs now, that is not going to get us there. So I need to... Bring this along to here. And I need another one, right? <laughs> okay, well... 
bring you in for five five seconds you i need you to come in and go on mediums what are you on right now okay i guess that's because i kept clicking on the other stuff it just then didn't bring up the oh yeah, this is your last lap i'm oh, sorry this is your pit stop lap and there's been a slow pit stop of course there has Beach just spun. Oh, good. <laughs> you were beach. That's without you trying to push on those tires. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. going for the fastest lap I can with Beach. Why, if this is optimal, why are you not telling me to come in? It's the bit I don't understand. Insane. Mechanical fault for Gasly, please. Please. Some smoke at the back of the car. There's some smoke at the back of the car. It's the final lap. I think it's 138.1. Your mechanical fault looks okay. Your mechanical fault looks okay. I don't see any smoke coming out of the back of your car. <clears throat> I think we've got our results. Unless something tra tragic happens on the last lap. I was going all out. Why are we not getting out of the way? For this car who's clearly in front of us aren't we meant to move we had a blue flag isn't that mean doesn't that mean get out of the way to let this do past you guess not Okay, this is us done. Another bust for us. Not a quick race to sum up, not least for George Russell there. Seventh place at the end of that one, and some points for the team. Well, the Claire with the win. Really deserving of that top three spot. Max doesn't look happy. And that's win number one of the season. And it's sure to provide them with a real confidence boost. 
Okay. Well, look, here we are with 138.1 being our fastest lap and 140 over here. Uh, nothing changed down here as we would expect. Definitely nothing changed over here. Um, fastest pit stop. We were 10th. Well, we got some points at some point. Uh, and then our pit stops. Okay. We get 222 grand and not much else. Right. Let's just uh, work our way up to the next race. Construction completed the hospitality area. That's quite nice. Maybe that would improve moods. Nope. Uh -huh. Oh, hold on. You're okay. Look, you're not as grumpy as, as last time. We, we got going on. We've got problems with cars. Side pods failed. Suspension failed. We've got none left in the warehouse. Need some suspension, people. We've got eight days left on these because of that delay. We can start research. So we've done some of this. What if we started research on this? I mean, this is going to give us some benefits, so we could just hit, hold on. Yeah, if I just hit next. What if we worked on these things? So this is showing us that we've got an expertise reduction of minus 10%. So we are getting research benefit 1%. In theory, we're getting 1.7% for doing this. And it's going to cost us a million pounds. Right, that's because we've got no time to invest into it or anything else. So I don't know if it's worthwhile doing or not, really. Um, I mean, it probably is, but I guess we should use our time for it. With that being the case, we might be better off saying, OK, well, look, we've already developed one of these. Let's develop another one. Where we're interested in drag reduction and engine cooling. Six engineers working on it. It's going to make us a little bit quicker. 0.2x quicker in acceleration. DRS affected by 1%. Engine cooling by 3%. I don't know if it's worthwhile. That's the thing. Is we may as well wait until the the thing we jigs back, right? The this thing. It's only in a week's time. Okay, hopefully we can finish our manufacturing. I need to be able to manufacture these. I can't afford to improve our wet. Well, maybe our money is going down. Need to get to this stage. Okay, beach has gone up. Just need to do this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So if we go here and we go manufacture, we need side pods, right? Desperately. Is it side pods? No, we need underfloor. What one have we got none of? Suspension. We'll start making you. Now we can design another part or we can research a part. I genuinely don't know the right thing to do. It's so early in the season, I guess we should do another one of these, right? Let's just go to our cars. So we are much better, right? 
I mean, we're not better. When we look at this. I guess if we compared ourselves to Sauber, right? Because they're probably the same. So our top speed is better than them. They are better than us. Everything else. Apart from tyre preservation. You know, and that's what the worst team on the grid, I think. Okay. I think we designed something new. We've got four front wings in the thing. We know we're going to need more. Maybe we do the front wing. I wonder if we should split this and do two things or what. You know what? Every time, let's save some hours for the research. Hold on. When you do research, I'll be back to this in a second. When you do research, you need wind tunnel hours, right? Yeah, okay. So let's do front wing over here. Okay. Uh, I'm interested in all of these. But you know what? I'm also interested in airflow, I think. tire preservation you know we're pretty rubbish there anyway but okay this is this is what we're doing i think now if we do it as intense we're going to spend a load but we're going to get some knowledge for it but i think we're just going to go normal Okay, because then we can come to research and we can do something that's not these things, like rear wing. We can do that as another million spent. So we're manufacturing suspension. What else do we need? So in here we've got five of these, four of these. That's fine. Front wings, we've just got four. But we're doing uh, work on it. This, we've got enough. Side pods, we've got six. Underfloors, we've got three. So we need underfloors. Perfect. Let's 
gonna, we're still going to be making these whilst we're waiting for the um, when the research is finished, but or design is finished. Okay, look, we are better than we've ever been. I think. Let's just do our car analysis and compare car one to car two. Okay, so DRS effectiveness is much better in the old car, but we are quicker, we're faster off the block, we're worse at high speed, low speed, everything. Is this one better? Is our first one better than our second one? Hold on a second. We're heavier. I guess that's the reason why, right? We're 17th in there, we're 19th in this, we're worse on everything else. It's not quite as clear cut as we thought, right? because we've put the longevity on those parts. I think that's fine because we need to get over the edge with the parts, but it's not ideal. Maybe that was the wrong choice. Let's just hit continue and get closer to this. We don't need to worry about the pit crew. I guess we should do some more scouting. Who's unemployed? How, how good is our current technical chief? How do I see that? Our current technical chief is 66. we go I guess we should do a driver as well oops <laughs> bless me okay let's do old I need someone old enough to be able to drive the car right Paul Aaron I've not, not got enough scouts. Thought I did this, but apparently not. Here we go, you're off doing that. I guess the last thing we should do just before we wrap up is... Just use the, the worst parts for practice and that. Not that there's a lot in it. Okay, we are done. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Exus God of Gaming. Uh, if you're watching over on Twitch or want to see us live over on Twitch, please go and check out Scott Talk Gaming on Twitch. Uh, and if you want to see the next episode early, please go and check out YouTube members where we do have early access to every single video that we upload. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.